So there was a pre-launch stream for Assassin's Creed Origins yesterday, and there was a lot of information that was released, quite a few significant pieces. Other than that though, it was just a lot of gameplay. Everything looked really nice, the game looks as beautiful as ever, and it's really impressive gameplay. But there were a lot of interesting pieces of information I'm going to be going over in this video, and also a tiny, you know, little recap of all the news I've had recently that I haven't covered. So I'm going to be going over all of the news that we've got recently over the last few days and rounding it up like I usually do. Also, last night, we hit 20,000 subscribers, which is fucking insane. And the subscribers are still coming in. I've gained over 200 subscribers in the last day, which is absolutely mental. 200 subs, I'm already on 20,200. What the fuck is going on? You guys and your support is immense. And I want to thank you guys so much for that. I know you're going to probably hear this a lot up to the release of Origins and after the game releases. We're going to be smashing some milestones, hopefully. And I just want to thank you guys so much for your support. So without further ado, guys, let's Let's get straight into today's news roundup of Assassin's Creed Origins. First, before we get into the actual pieces of news, I want to kind of tell you guys about a little meme that's been going on in the community. It's called hashtag this is my bayek. Now, it sounds really fucking dumb. Basically, me, Fizzy, Lasers, Tynamite, Modorox, you know, a bunch of the lads, a bunch of, you know, all good friends. We were on the Kill Connor Club, and I was kind of talking about how I wanted to do a video of my level 40 bayek when he gets to that level when Assassin's Creed Origins comes out. And then it just kind of devolved into this, this meme this is my Bayek. And without being there and listening to the podcast, it sounds fucking stupid, but loads of people have been hashtagging it on Twitter now, and I just find it really fucking funny. And look at this clip. Look at this clip of Ashraf Ismail, and tell me that he's not onto it. Uh, here, just to show up, this is the, the gear page. This is effectively where you you uh, customize your Bayek, <laughs> if you will. Your Bayek, your Bayek, your Bayek, <laughs> if you will. That chuckle after he says your Bayek? Is that a fucking reference to the hashtag this is my bike meme? Hope it is. I hope it, I really hope it was. It was just a bit of a goof. That, that was, that was all it was. It was a bit of fun on Twitter and, uh, we're actually going to use it as a way for people to show off their Bayek in Assassin's Creed Origins. If they think their Bayek looks cool, you can tweet us with the hashtag, this is my Bayek when the game comes out and we'll have a look at everyone's Bayeks and it'll be a really cool way of bringing the community together. So I thought I'd just mention that because it was something that was happening recently on Twitter that's actually relatively big. Many people are tweeting about it. In other news, we also got a live action trailer for Assassin's Creed Origins recently which was, I guess it was pretty nice but it wasn't anything to get too excited about simply because it's so close to the launch of Assassin's Creed Origins so stuff like this, like live action trailers yeah it's nice to see but it's nowhere near as juicy as the information we get from live streams like the Assassin's Creed Origins pre-launch live stream yesterday. There were quite a few big pieces of information released in this video, they went through the photo mode a bit more, there was a new outfit the Anubis outfit they showed at the end and there's also a target screen that shows all of the assassination targets that you'll be assassinating in Assassin's Creed Origins. It's a little bit spoilery, but not as spoilery as you'd think hearing it just then. We'll get into it later, but if you don't want any spoilers, feel free to not watch that bit and skip right to the end of the video. So in the photo mode of Assassin's Creed Origins, you can do many things, such as taking photos while in midair, taking photos while underwater, you can rotate the camera, add various different filters, you can even go very far away from Bayek and take pictures of just the landscape if you want to so there's many different things you can do with this photo mode it's kind of similar to the one in horizon zero dawn it's it's basically exactly the same you can have various different filters you can do those different things with it and there's definitely going to be some really cool pictures that we're going to be able to take with the photo mode in assassin's creed origins i cannot wait get into it and kind of take some nice snapshots of ancient egypt bayek you know my, my bayek Hashtag this is my Bayek. Anyway, the photo mode in Assassin's Creed Origins looks great. If you guys want to send us pictures of your Bayek or, you know, screenshots that you find cool on Twitter, then you can for sure go ahead and do that when the game comes out. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people using the photo mode, using it to share with various different people in the community, and it's going to be great. It's one of those features that kind of brings a community together. It's, it's weird because it's just a photo mode. It's an incredibly simple feature. Yeah, it brings so many people together, sharing their experience with the game. That's 
that's what it's about. It's about sharing your experiences in the game and having other people know that you're having a good time. And that's one of the reasons why I really love the idea of a photo mode in Assassin's Creed Origins. And I'm incredibly happy that they've listened to the fans and they've implemented this feature. This is something that many people have been wanting and to see it in the game is just really, really cool. I'm definitely going to be using this a lot. When AC Origins comes out, you can see me tweeting a lot of shit about the game and obviously pictures of the game and the beautiful landscape of ancient Egypt will definitely be one of them. So the photo mode in Assassin's Creed Origins gets a good rating from me. As a reward for completing all of the trial of the gods missions in Assassin's Creed Origins, you get this Anubis armor set, which as you can see, is on fire. It seems to be carrying on that feel of very mystic, fantasy sort of armor and designs that are in Assassin's Creed Origins. I personally think it looks really cool. However, I don't know if I'll use it as I'm playing the game, simply because it might break immersion. It does look really cool though. You never know, maybe I will use it. Maybe I'll use it in some videos because it does look pretty fucking awesome with the flames and the Anubis head. However, I'll most likely usually just use some nice fucking armor, nice hood, you know, original assassin outfit. Although that's not to say this doesn't look great. I think this is a really cool looking armor set. I'm pretty sure there's weapons and a shield to go with it too. So that's really, really cool. They've got some really nice looking outfits in this game. And this is certainly one of the more unique looking ones. As you can see, his shield here is like emitting some weird blue smoke. It, it's very, very fantasy RPG looking. And I've got to say, it, there's something about it that looks really nice. Having this armor in game would make you feel pretty badass. You fucking Anubis walking along with fire all over you. Anyway, when the Trial of the Gods goes live on Assassin's Creed Origins, you can get this armor as a reward by completing all of the Trials of the Gods and yeah, you can walk around Egypt looking like Anubis if you want to do that. Most likely, I'll be using another outfit that kind of looks a bit more lore-friendly to Assassin's Creed or more realistic considering it is an Assassin's Creed game. After all, it isn't a fantasy RPG. And I want to be immersed in the world. So wearing this Anubis outfit won't do much for my immersion, but it does look awesome still and I'll probably be getting it in the game. And I'll most likely do a video showcasing it on my channel for everyone to see. So the last big piece of information we have coming from the live stream is the assassination list that lists all of the targets we need to kill in Assassin's Creed Origins. It gives us no information about their character or what they look like, although now we have a list of all of the targets in Assassin's Creed Origins. Obviously, if you don't want spoilers for the game, don't watch this section and skip to the end of the video. Although, if you don't mind, then go ahead and watch this section. It's really not that spoilery whatsoever, it just lists a few names. And it's not even their real names at that, it's just their titles within the Order of the Ancients. Anyway, Anyway, the list goes as follows. The Hippo, the Lizard, the Heron, the Crocodile, the Ibis, the Hyena, the Vulture, the Scarab, and the Ram. So it seems there's a total of nine targets in this game, just like Assassin's Creed 1. I feel like this is a throwback to Assassin's Creed 1 with having the nine targets. It's very subtle, and they probably did it just to mirror what happened in Assassin's Creed 1 with the nine targets. I don't think it's cool. I just think it's cool there's nine major members of the Order of Ancients, and then all has to kill nine men in Assassin's Creed 1. There's a lot of throwbacks to Assassin's Creed 1 in this game, and it's just pretty interesting. I like it they're remembering what happened 10 years ago and looking back and making callbacks and stuff like that. I do like it when games do that, and it's Assassin's Creed Origins definitely doing that with Assassin's Creed 1. Talking about callbacks to Assassin's Creed games, Ash Ismail also says there's really awesome moments linked to maybe things people have seen from perhaps AC1 or AC2. You know what that means? Fucking legacy missions. Please, just please put legacy missions in. Oh god, I mean obviously they can't put them in now, but please have legacy missions in the game. Oh, it'd be so fucking good. Imagine playing a legacy mission, and then you fucking get the outfit of the ass- It's not gonna happen. It's, it's not happening. There's there's no way they'd do that. I just thought about it now. It's literally not fucking happening. Like, yeah, Assassin's Creed Origins is a great game and everything, but there's no way they're gonna be putting legacy missions in the game and having it so you can play as Altair for a bit, like for one mission, then get Altair's outfit. It's not happening. It's not- ha I've, I've come to terms with the fact that legacy missions aren't going to be in the game, although it would be really fucking cool. Ashraf Ismail also commented on the Hecker chests in the game, which is the loot boxes, and he said you can only get this chest from the character with in-game currency. You cannot pay for these loot chests with microtransactions, so don't fucking worry everyone that cries about loot boxes in games, you can get the Hecker chest only with in-game currency. However, that's not to say that you can't buy in-game
in-game currency with real life money. There'll most likely be some form of currency like Helix credits that you can buy with real life money that you can then transfer into money in the game. However, I don't think th this will be completely linked with the Hecker Chest. The Hecker Chest only costs 3,000 money in the game and from what we've seen, money's given out pretty damn liberally, especially from random loot drops in the open world. So uh, these Hecker Chests aren't going to be your conventional scummy trying to grab money out of your loot boxes. They're going to be more for people that want to be able to get high level gear and you know you can seek out this vendor and you can buy that high level gear off of him through these loot boxes. Basically what I'm saying is these hecker chests can only be bought with in-game currency. They're not linked with microtransactions in any way so you don't have to worry about that. They're, they're fucking fine. Anyway that is the end of the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just wanted to summarize all the information we got yesterday for Assassin's Creed Origins with the Assassin's Creed Origins pre-launch stream. Let me know what you think of everything in the comment section below and thank you guys all for your fucking support recently. It's been insane. It's been mental. 200 subs in a day, that's like the fucking most I've ever gotten. And thank you guys so much for all your support. Be sure to go ahead, like and subscribe for more gaming news, content, and reviews in the future. Be sure to check out yesterday's video, which was talking about social stealth in Assassin's Creed Origins. And the reason why I think it's kind of silly that they didn't include it in the game. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.